Plateau State begins local production of pharmaceutical products. NCC seeks better working conditions for telecom workers in Nigeria amid brain drain concerns. Canada's immigration backlog exceeds 1 million applicants. Pfizer withdraws $125,000 sickle cell treatment, Oxbrighter, worldwide. And now the news in full. The Plateau State Drugs and Medical Commodities Management Agency has announced the commencement of local production of pharmaceutical products to address drug accessibility and affordability issues within the state. The Executive Secretary of the agency, Kim Bott, made this announcement during an interview with the news agency of Nigeria on Thursday in Joss. But a pharmacist highlighted that the agency has already manufactured five pharmaceutical products, signaling the start of a significant stride towards self-reliance in healthcare. Coming up next, the Nigerian Communications Commission has urged telecom operators in Nigeria to adopt flexible work policies, better remunerations, and foster a culture of innovation to create an environment that attracts and retains talents. The Executive Vice Chairman of the Commission, Dr. Aminu Maeda, made the call against the backdrop of the mass exit of talents from Nigeria to other countries. Speaking at the fifth edition of the Telecom Sector Sustainability Forum, organized by the Business Remarks themed Mitigating the effects of talent exodus and its impact on the growth of Nigeria's telecommunications industry. Maida said talent is the lifeblood of innovation and development and the loss of skilled professionals is a major setback for our industry. Coming up next, Canada's immigration backlog has reached 1,078,300 applications as of the 31st of August, marking a 7.57% increase from the previous month. This rise shows the ongoing challenges within the immigration processing system, as outlined in the latest data released by the Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada on the 21st of September. Coming up next, the United Arab Emirates has simplified its amnesty program for visa violators by reducing the required visa passport validity period. The Federal Authority for Identity and Citizenship and Customs and Port Security, ICP, have announced a two-month grace period that begins on the 1st of September to the 31st of October 2024. This program allows violators of entry and residency regulations to rectify their status without incurring financial penalties or administrative restrictions. Coming up next, FISA has announced the global withdrawal of its sickle cell disease treatment, Oxbrighter, which was priced at approximately $125,000 per year. This decision follows a review of clinical data that revealed significant safety concerns, including an increased risk of complications and patient fatalities. Oxbrighter, initially priced at $10,409 per month, was hailed as a groundbreaking therapy when it received U.S. approval in 2019. Unlike previous treatments that only addressed the symptoms of the sickle cell disease, Oxbrighter was the first to target the underlying cause with red blood cells assuming an abnormal sickle shape. That's it from us today. Don't forget to stay up to date with parametrics, engage with our post across all platforms, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Good day.